I uh, just in my little away from home place here where I do my recording. I don't have the greatest light set up right now, but uh, what the heck? These are individual pickups. These are, in fact, under here is the same thing under the base covers. But in here, these are humbuckers. This is actually two, two coils with a magnet in each of them. A ceramic in here, but I use El Nico's too. And what happens is these, these are, these are, are cancellation, but also they give you that broader sound of the humbucker. But each time I touch a string, I actually turn on one of those six humbuckers right there. Same thing back here. If I've switched to both pickups, one of these is going to come on at the same time. Now, back here, you notice I have just one pickup per string. That's because when I want that real, that real bright country sound that I demonstrated before that. I want that more, I want that brighter tone to get out of the guitar. So, back to the pickups again and the bridges. These are the individual uh, string bridges for the touch guitar. They're vertical. They're called a vertical bridge. You notice there's electrical connection going down right here, and that's because that's where, that's how the that's how the string is actually turned on. When I touch the fret, if I touch the string with the fret right there, I've actually made a ground, which is turned on a little transistor, a little diode, and all of a sudden the little miniature electronics in this thing, which is about the size on each neck that goes into your your uh, 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 cell phone. Uh, because this is very modern electronics. In fact, the computer board in this neck, which is back of here, and the computer board for here is about the size of a business card, and it's a five-layer card in order to do all the muting and all the tone control and things like that. So these are individual pickups. This bridge is a, is a, is a vertical bridge uh, instead of a horizontal bridge, and the humbuckers, I've explained that to you. And it's all put under this really pretty cover, wood that I got out of my own. I cut my own trees down to process my own beautiful wood of all types, as you probably have seen in my other guitars. This just happens to be a very tight, pretty grain of fiddleback. The cover then fits in rubber-mounted mounts so that it goes on there and there's no chance of vibration because it's rubber-mounted. Now when I put my arm back on, I can go back out in the guitar. I'll zip back out here for you just a little bit. And, and get back to a little dip, better view of the guitar. Now when I start playing the notes on the guitar, I don't have to worry about my arm. My arm can reach clear down to the first fret and play. I mean, sometimes you can get your hand up in here and get into it, but in most cases, of the guitar. The, these are filters, like I said, for the guitar. This is your high-low filter for the guitar. This is your tone control for the bass back here, your volume, your pan, your tilt-tilt control to a stack pot here. This is a control for the MIDI here that gives you different different effects. No, this is pickup select, excuse me, for the guitar. This is your all your MIDI controls up here. And, and this is your volume and tone and pan for the guitar. If you were to take and go to the front side, you're going to go to the front pickup. If you go to the back, you're going to go to the back, naturally. This is an ebony neck with a maple strip in the middle. This is the tuning of the guitar. All you do when you pick a note here, reach back here, and very carefully, it moves it up and down. It's my own design and, again, my own uh, trademark and patented tuning. So, now you've kind of seen how the touch guitar works. It acts as a wonderful instrument. And it's very, it's, it's built quite light. In fact, it weighs a lot less than most bass guitars, and the one reason for that is because I've used a, a kind of a honeycomb design. I've actually done a thing where inside of here, I put the strength of the where I need it to get my tone, but I've kind of left a lot of it hollow inside, so that but given myself strength this way so that there's never a chance of the instrument warping or bending or anything. It's got a front if you can look close at the side, you'll actually see that I put a maple top over a mahogany center and a maple back on this guitar. And the, I put different ones on different guitars. But that is, is basically what makes the touch guitar what it is. When I slide from one note to the other, it has no sound. There's no string sound, as you would get on a normal guitar. If I do a little thing, I do a lot of picking off, or I do a little... Pick it off with my thumb. Your thumb's a wonderful finger. You can, 
You notice how my thumb is under here? You can't see it what's happening a lot of time, but my thumb is, is pushing a lot of times. I mean, not all the time, but it actually does pushing motions. So this kind of takes you through a little explanation of the touch guitar. We'll get into more of that a little bit later. Thank you for listening to my babble.